Nation, Steve Leslie, another player profile. Campfield Cardinals, YSN, we're the home of the Cardinals. Proud to be a part of that player profile sponsored by Steve Coca here on another Wednesday night at Coca's Pizza. One of the best dinners you can eat on Wednesday night. I'm looking forward to diving into some pizza after this. Joined by senior quarterback Brock Lowry. Brock, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, let's jump in with you. I've known you and your family for a long time. Uh, let's start family first. Talk about your family a little bit and how important they are for you in this journey your senior year at Canfield. Oh, yeah, I have a great family. I had two brothers, a mom and a dad, and, and they're just a great support system for me and, and all my recruiting and throughout football just – taking me to the training and, and really just being a good support system for me. Well, shout out to your family for sure. Shout out to mom and dad and your brothers. L let's go in that. Your brothers from, from a, a playing standpoint for you, are, are they that voice for you after the game that you listen to? Talk about that relationship with your brothers during football season. Yeah. I mean, surprisingly, neither of them played varsity football. Okay. So I'm, I'm kind of the only person in my family that really, uh, really do good in football. So, right. I mean, we don't really talk too much about it because they they don't really have that knowledge, knowledge? I guess. Okay. But, uh, yeah, we, we still talk about the games. So they, they tell me good jobs. I appreciate when they come to the games. Oh, and watch no me. doubt. I'm sure you do. And they, I know they're proud of what you do as mom and dad. Let, let's talk about that first, the recruiting process. Uh, everybody thinks that it's glamorous, it's fun, it's exciting, which some of it is. Yeah. But how hard is that? to be a student, to uh, work with your football team, uh, to be the leader of your football team and answer calls and texts committed to Indiana University. Congratulations. That, that's Thank a fantastic you. choice. All of us at YSN are proud to, to watch your journey there. Talk about the recruiting process and what that was like. Uh, it's, it's definitely tough to, to work to get those offers and then to narrow it down to find find the right fit for me. And it's it was a big stress for me, my mother, my, my whole family, really, to just really get the school that was right for me. And right when I went to Indiana, I knew yeah. it was the right school for me with the coaches. and what, 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 what sold it for you? It's a great university. It's a great campus. Mm -hmm. What is there something that I, I know Coach Allen is a great coach. I, I don't know him, but I, I've read a lot of good things about him. What, what struck you that, that you knew that IU was the place? Just the coaching staff, really. Uh, those guys made me feel like home right when I stepped on campus, and they didn't waste any time with uh, with offering me. That Coach Bell, their offense sure. coordinator, quarterback coach, came and offered me right when he saw me throw. So I knew they believed in me, and I loved everything I saw there. So I committed. Well, congrats on that. We, we wish you nothing but the best. Big Ten football. Yeah. You don't have to say anymore. The Big Tens becoming or is, in my opinion, the premier conference yeah, with definitely. with television ratings and things. That has to be exciting for you. Let's jump into this football team. I want the first question I wanted to ask you. I'm curious how you're going to answer this. I've watched you play quarterback. The growth is off the charts. I remember watching you in a game, a playoff game your sophomore year at Chart. A good football team, state champs. Yeah. Um, and then you open up this year as a senior against a good football team, the Shields and West Branch. They are going to win nine games and make a good run in the playoffs, in my opinion. Where has Brock Lowry developed? developed the most and I guess my question off of that as a senior now getting all that experience has the game slowed down for you a little bit from an offensive standpoint yeah that's the that's the biggest part for me is the game I've noticed the game really slowed down and it's uh I have my quarterback coach Jim Ballard kind of references is that like when you're hitting a baseball it's the ball which comes you do at pretty you. well I'm gonna <laughs> say that you've hit a baseball really well yeah the, the ball comes at you like a beach ball sure. it's really just easy you see everything and I've been on film sessions with him every week, uh, just break it down film, and it really helps me out. It slows the game down a does lot. That, does that click in for you? Do you do, is that something you just get a feeling for right away? Yeah. Like each week it becomes a little more simpler to go up to the line. And, and Coach Pav raves about uh, what you do as a quarterback to change up plays at the line of scrimmage. That That's not an easy thing to do, and, and they have a lot of confidence in you as to, to do that. Yeah, for sure. And and watching film and, and being prepared for the week, those four days of practice, it really just makes the game easy. Well, practice makes everything for, for this yeah. Canfield football team. With Brock Lowry, the leader of this football team, no doubt one of the best quarterbacks, if not, I'm going to say the best quarterback in, in our area. I, I support Canfield football and, and known Steve Coca and known his family, so I have no problem in saying that. Not only on the field, but off the field, Nicola Coca. Um, again, I, I enjoyed that conversation. You don't want to see anybody get hurt, especially as a senior. Uh, you guys are tight with him. 
from a Brock Brock Lowry standpoint, that hurts. Uh, how did it affect you when when you finally got the news that he's going to be the guy now that can help all you guys on the sidelines, but not on the field. Talk about that. It, it's it's emotional, really. Uh, watching your brother go down on the field like that and someone you spent all off season with and all basically all your football career with sure. just, just working. And he's been such a great leader even after the injury. And I, I support, we're going to support him uh, 100%. Um, there's no doubt uh, you'll support it 100%. I, I'm going to say this. I think he will be – a bigger leader for this football team down the road. Yeah. I, I truly believe that in talking to him and seeing how he is and, and the knowledge and the spirit he has for football, he's going to be that guy that uh, you guys run into a tough situation or a tough spot that he's going to be there to pick you guys up. Leads me into this senior group, 28 seniors. That's incredible. Number one, that 28 guys um, stay together as a football team because everybody wants to be – that person. Um, and there are guys on this team as seniors that roles, no matter what they are, are important to you. As the leader of this senior group, how special is this group? Uh, we're a really tight knit group and we've all been playing with each other for our whole lives. And, and not many guys have really quit that we've only had guys sure. come on and, and fill spots for us. And the team chemistry we have with not only our seniors, but the whole team, I could have a conversation with all these guys and that's what, just what makes our team special. I think it is a special group. So I'm going to put a tough one on you. I'm going to put – you guys are in tough spots, and a lot of it falls on you. So you're in a tough spot, and you need to make a statement to one of your senior brothers, leaders. Is it on how you play the game, or is it a little more vocal? What type of leader are you? I mean, I like to lead by example, really. That's a great answer. And uh, I won't really, like, be yelling at guys too much. I'll just be motivating them. Say a receiver drops a ball, I'm telling them, like, what they did wrong, what they need to do sure. to better their route running and stuff like that. But I I'm more of a leader by example. Just, just the way I play, I like to put a lot of effort in on the field, playing both sides of the ball. And I think that's the type of leader I am. Well, that's, a, that's in my opinion, the best leader to be. And you do a great job of leading the way. You look back at the last two years, you guys had some talented football teams. Um, we've covered it. We've covered groups and sat with seniors, and it goes fast. Is something that this class learned from previous classes and some of those guys? For you, you started as a sophomore, so you were right in it with them from a sophomore. Is there someone that um, – one of those seniors from other classes that really – taught you and led you to where you're at right now yeah there's a lot of seniors i can name but one that really sticks out is chris samaron uh he's a he was a huge influence on me when i was a sophomore he may not think of, of it but i looked up to him in in many ways and he helped me out so much my sophomore year so shout out to chris samaron shout out to chris samaron that's a good answer good family there wise you he get ready for an opener you got some young kids playing i i shouldn't say young kids you got some unexperienced players yeah. you play west branch which their offense is like a video game it is, i mean yeah. it's snap it throw it run it and the shields is really good at it how special was it for you to see yes it was a close game yes there were mistakes but you you guys played some guys that got their first varsity experience against an elite offense for you how exciting was that to see so many young guys go into a game atmosphere like that and perform yeah, it was great to see our young guys step up, uh, specifically on the defensive side of the ball with our defensive backs. We had two new starting cornerbacks, and against a high-powered throwing offense like that, they really had to be perfect. Yeah, it was Paulie and Bendis was one. Paul I think Bendis he had an injury. Yeah, yeah, I work for his dad with the county, so uh, shout out to Paul. He had an interception, I think, on a yeah, two-point play. Yep. But just seeing those guys really step up was great. And also with our senior uh, outside linebacker, Ryan Schneider, being out, we had to rotate three guys at that outside linebacker position. And those guys have never never played a varsity snap in their lives, but they stepped up to the plate, and they really took on a big challenge. So yep. I'm proud of those guys. You're playing some defense too? Yep. All right, let's be careful on defense. Like, <laughs> let Goofy Marzano come up and make tackles, and you stand back uh, I'm, there. I'm no, the okay. cleanup crew. You're the cleanup crew. Yeah. That's good. How good can this offense be? Oh, we could be great. We have a, a young receiving core. And once that once they get their feet a little wet in the with the varsity football, 
I think we could be great. Our, our offensive line is very experienced, and I think we have the tools to be a great offense. Coach Pav raves about this senior group and how close you are and was adamant that, um, Steve, we have 28 guys. Can we get them all? Yeah, we'll get every one of them because that's important. Raved about you guys, how hard you work off the field, off season. Um, from your role, how do you get that? young group of receivers better every week is it practice stuff is it pre-practice stuff that you're helping them with film what, what's your improvement week one to two for this offense to get better yeah i mean we've been working all off season i've been working all off season with these receivers taking them to my quarterback coach jim ballard he's very jim uh, ballard i love he's very knowledgeable about the game and and every week we've been going on uh, film sessions with him i bring my receivers on and it's just been very, uh, very beneficial to that group. Just Jim Ballard, they are. he could sling it a little bit. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he could probably sure. still sling it, but in yeah. his playing days, was one of the best quarterbacks in Ohio. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that, that's a great leader for you to follow. Uh, with Brock Lowry, senior profile, we talk student bodies, band. You've played a lot of sports. You were in. You played in varsity in those COVID situations where you could hear a pin drop. and It was yeah. different. It was hard to announce. It was hard to do. You go to West Branch Friday night, and it was a whole different atmosphere. For you to be a, a Big Ten recruit, that's you're, you're going to go into big-time atmospheres. Not a whole lot of high school teams get the type of support that you do from your school through the band, the cheerleaders, your student body. Do you hear them? Oh, yeah, for sure. That's why I love Northeast Ohio football. I, I think it's some of the best football in the world just with the support we get throughout the area and and – Comparing this year to Poland, I think it was very similar. Like mm -hmm. from this year to last year, there's so many fans there, and you definitely feel the atmosphere a lot more. It definitely motivates you. Coaching staff. Um, Coach Pav, I've known him a long time. Uh, today's coaching world, not a lot of people stay at places. Uh, he's been there forever. Um, he's passionate still when you talk to him each week. He raves about this group. I think your coaching staff is phenomenal. Wally Hurdley from a defensive guy. That guy was one of the best defensive players I've ever seen in high school at Fitch. Uh, all your coaching staff. How important is Coach Pav and that staff to you seniors? Oh, they're they're very uh, very beneficial to us. Uh, definitely with the, the motivation they bring. And Coach Hurdley on the defensive side of the ball, I feel like he wants to put on the pads himself. He he gets us fired up, sure. fired up every uh, every Friday night. And Coach Pav himself, uh, they really have done so much for this group, and I appreciate every every hour they've put watching film at night, staying up late at late nights watching film and stuff like that. So I appreciate all of them. Well, shout out to the coaches for sure. You're going to go to Bellevue, long ride, a new opponent uh, Wednesday. So we're winding the week down. Tell Canfield Nation what type of team you're going to face on Friday night. Yeah, Bellevue's definitely a definitely a physical team. We've never we never seen a team like them before. They have so many different offensive formations, so that, that's what kind of kind of makes it difficult. And they're a physical team. They they have a tough quarterback likes to run the ball, but he could throw it too. And they'll throw some trick plays in there too as well. So um, it's gonna definitely gonna be a big challenge for us. Yeah, it's gonna be a great game. Unfortunately, we won't have it on Wise, and it's Wednesday night. So Coach Hurley, you better be back at school checking out film, which I'm sure he is. With Brock Lowry, senior profile, Coca's Pizza again. Can't thank Steve enough. Every Wednesday night, we're, we're here to support Canfield football. We're going to play rapid fire. Right. Um, some some quality answers by, by, by some of those guys. But favorite color, Gatorade, or what does Brock Lowry drink during a football game? During a football game, is all water. But my favorite color, I'd probably say lime. Lime? I like the mean green, too. You do like, like the say. mean it's, green? It's good. See, that's why Canfield's been good for years. It's the mean green in <laughs> yeah. double session. So you're a water guy. Talk about that. Like, I didn't notice, and you could you played in the game last week, and it was hot. I don't remember many people going down with cramps like we normally get in, in a season. I know I, I did the Urson game. There wasn't many. I don't think there was many in your games. Conditioning when it's hot is water all week, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's water. It's stretching. It's uh... – there's pickle juice too. And oh, during the game when some kids are cramping up, uh, we have Coach DiGiacomo Coach on the side. Coach DiGiacomo does a nice job on the side. Some sideline. mustard. <laughs> okay. All right. This is. I, I think I know the answer here. Your favorite college football team? Oh, Indiana University. Indiana University. No uh, again, shout out to not only you, your family. Uh, that's a big time accomplishment. And, and I'm going to say this. I'm glad you're going to play quarterback. 
there I said it. Um, I think you're that guy. I, I think a lot of people are missing out on this guy. And um, hats off to Coach Allen because he's getting a great one. And uh, wish you the best and congrats on that. Favorite pro football team? Philadelphia Eagles. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. You're yeah. a Jalen Hurts fan? I'm a big Jalen Hurts But fan. see, he I has like some it. new toys now, right? He I does. think you got A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith. Goddard. It's gonna be fun to watch this year. Do you get? Oh, you you don't get to go watch them play. It's football season, so nah, you get yeah. to watch them on Sunday. Yeah, watch them on Sunday. Is Coach Pav a Sunday guy during films, or are we off on Sunday? Yeah, we're off on Sunday. So you get to watch pro football. Yep. That's good. Um, school's important. The Campfield High School is a great education. Favorite class for you that you've had? I liked uh, Mr. Canning's English Eleven class. Matt Canning. Matt Canning. Yeah. Matt Canning. <laughs> Matt Caning teaches English. Yeah, he does. It's impressive. Yep. Love Matt Caning. Uh, coached him, coached with him. He's done a great job with Canfield baseball, still in the school system. I know he still supports all the sports, so shout out to Coach Caning. Role model. When you're playing football the way you do, would you rather third and three run for five and run somebody over or third and three and you hit one over the top for the touchdown? What's your preference? I think I know. I mean, personally, I'd like to run somebody over. <laughs> All right, but see, here's the thing. Now, when we get older and we go to Indiana, now they get a little bigger and a little faster. So when we get 10, you yeah. know, hit the deck. You got a long season to play. That's a yeah, great answer. Sure. Um, do you emulate someone? Is there somebody that you looked up to going into this whole quarterback phase? I mean, I like Nick Foles a lot. Nick Foles took our team to the to yes. Super Bowl, and Nick Foles doesn't get the credit that he should. He be. was such an underdog. That's really like I like the mentality he had, and that's who I kind of looked up to. How special was that run for you as a oh fan? Oh my god! It to was, beat the Patriots, it was crazy. It was the best best uh, day of my life. Uh, that best day <laughs> of your life. Well, we're gonna have better ride. ones than that. Um, when I say Chardon, what sticks out to you? Just, it just boils my blood, really. Uh, I'm not trying to boil your I blood. Know, I know, I know. I, I think, uh, and I've said this, and I've coached you, so you've heard me say this, to be the best, you got to beat the best. That's right. So I, I think this team can continue on and get better, and this could be the year that you beat the best. Yeah. Your thoughts? Uh, I mean, we've kind of been working all offseason just to prepare for a team like that because they're, they're really the standard in Northeast Ohio Division Three football right now. They play low and hard and fast, and we took the whole offseason. Whenever we're squatting or something like that, we, our whole emphasis was to get low, just to get lower than Chardon, a team like that. And when we're practicing, everyone's got to get low and uh, just work Do that way. Job. Yep. With, with Brock Lowry. All right, so I'm going to ask you. I asked Dom. You're on the bus. Uh, you lose a tough game. That's a long ride home. I think the game was in Girard. Yeah, Girard. Okay, so that's a long ride. Um You've now become a senior on the way home. You're, and I, I respect and admire you because you're a leader, but you're not that flashy, showy leader. It's my actions are going to speak volumes for my teammates and underclassmen. So you're by yourself. You get a chance to get your own thoughts. Senior year, this is it. What, what went through your mind right at that point? It's, it's really uh, what could I do and what could I do to help our team get back to that, uh, that same game? in that same situation in the playoffs. And, and I really just wanted to work all off season and bring my guys with me to, to want to get back to that same spot. Well, I think you've done a very good job with that. A, a good win in week one against a very good football team. Bellevue will get win number two. I talked to those guys about role models. When, when Brock Lowry's having a tough day or is in need of something, who's your, who's your go-to? Definitely my parents. Uh, they've, they've just helped me so much, and they've been huge role models for me, not only my football career, but my, my personal life and stuff like that too. Well, shout out to your parents. I know both of them. I know how proud they are to watch you play athletics, to be on a field. And, and now, let's be honest, it's a dream come true to get a, a Division One football scholarship in the Big Ten. You've accomplished that, and uh, I, I think it, it's a great opportunity to lead a Canfield team, hopefully to a state championship. Last one, you you got a lot of close senior friends that don't play football, yep. that are a little goofy. We'll, we'll leave it at that. But support everything you guys do. I love the Canfield Barstool. Is there a guy or a group of guys that 
isn't a football guy that you lean on in football season that you want to shout out? Yeah, I'll shout out a few guys. A.J. Havrilla, Steven Mazchak, Ben Slanker, Zachary Karras, and Chris Lorelli. Okay. Those guys. Those are all good are names that, that have good careers in what they're doing. How important is that, I guess, for A.J. being recruited and, and Ben and, and you? You're in a big school. You have guys that want to be you guys. You guys do a good job of, of showing them to do things the right way. For you, that has to be special because some schools just have one guy that get recruited. And, and, and that one guy we talked about, it's, you, you don't want to talk about where did you visit, where did you go, who you talked. It had to be nice for you to be a part of that with them, even though it was baseball. Oh, yeah, definitely. It, it's, a, it's a testament to Canfield, the whole community, and, sure. and the guys we, we bring up. So I'm very proud of those two. And and also Danny English, for, yeah. he's getting D1 yeah. scholarships as well. I'm very proud of everyone who uh, who gets those scholarships. Well, you should be, Canfield Nation. You should be proud of this one. Hats off to you. Keep working hard. Lead by example like you're doing. Beat Bellevue, and uh, we'll talk again yeah. soon. Thank you. All right.